figuring this out. So this portion right here is equal to two over sine two theta. And there's a couple of forms you can put this in, but same thing as two sine theta cosine theta, essentially over two is what it could become, but we'll see what happens here. Um, so I need to establish this to equal the right. So uh, what I'm gonna do is convert this to sine theta over cosine theta plus cosine theta over sine theta. So if I get common denominators, um, the common denominator is gonna be cosine theta sine theta. So what I end up on top is sine squared theta. Um, actually, I take that back. So um, yeah, that's what I get. So I'm sorry, sine squared theta over cosine theta sine theta plus cosine squared theta over cosine theta sine theta. So I can combine these now. So I get sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta all over. Um, I'll just rewrite it like this. Cosine theta. And this here becomes one over sine theta cosine theta. And you may be thinking, you know, like, well, that doesn't equal two over two sine cosine theta. But if you think about it, um, two over two does equal one. So all that happened is I put a two on top so I can get the two on the bottom, which is sine theta cosine theta. Um, and okay, well, th this isn't exactly what I have up here, but um, this property here is the same thing as two over two. Um, sine two theta and the sine can be rewritten if it's on the bottom if it's on the bottom it can be rewritten as cosecant so this simply just becomes uh, um, this whole thing just becomes two cosecant two theta and that's how we prove that all right i hope that helps thanks for watching